In this video, we're going to explore how to configure email in Moodle. Not email for a user, but the email that Moodle physically uses to issue badges, password resets, and any other time it needs to email a registered user. I will talk a bit more about badges in a few coming videos. Something that I used when I was a Moodle administrator that I found that students and learners really appreciated and having email set up is a prerequisite for that. So just a few more details and we'll jump right in and just a few more notes. So what we need is a prerequisite, uh, some kind of email that's SMTP accessible. We need to know the account information and we have to have admin privileges to Moodle or we won't see this feature. Now to get to the feature is a little bit tricky, which is why I made this video because it took me some time to find it myself. So first, when we're logged in as administrator, we go to Site Administration, and then we go to Plugins, and then Message Outputs, and then Email. So let's take a look. I'm here uh, logged in as an administrator in the Moodle site that I'm running locally. Uh, so I'm just, uh, just confirming I'm admin user. So I'm going to go to Site Administration, and then we're going to go to Plugins. Remember I told you it's a little bit tricky. And then we are going to go to message outputs and finally over to email. Now I'm using my personal Gmail for this and I just went to Gmail's website or I guess you'd call that Google and looked up the SMTP connection information for Gmail. I've set up Gmail for many things like this before and it's been quite straightforward, works very well. As a matter of fact, I've had worse luck using corporate email, uh, better luck using Gmail for whatever that's worth. But nonetheless, this is something that's used all the time and can be configured uh, with just about any compliant email, SMTP email host that has the necessary ports open. So, uh, okay, so smtp.gmail.com colon 4685. Gmail does list a couple of different ports you can use. For instance, 465 or 587, they both open up for outgoing mail. Incoming mail is port 993. Uh, SMTP security, Moodle defaults this at none. Gmail requests SSL, but here again, this depends on your provider. Your own provider might be different. I've just found Gmail to be fairly straightforward. Okay, the SMTP username. This is going to be my Gmail address. <laughs> Please use your own, not mine, <laughs> because guess what? I also need to use my password. So I put in my super secret, super secure password. Okay, no reply address. I can just put in brandan.jones again at gmail.com. Uh, any, or, or, in here again, this is a kind of a limited use a Moodle instance, if you're using this for a large user base, you probably want a dedicated email for both the SMTP username and also the no reply uh, for many reasons. One of it, which is it's more professional. Another is we know people come and go from organizations and you really don't want to have someone's personal email or even any identifying information like that. Nonetheless, everything else here is good, at least from a Gmail perspective. So I click on save changes. And now I'm going to open up an incognito window and I'm going to go to that same Moodle instance. Incognito in Chrome, Control Shift N. I open this up so that it doesn't know I'm logged in to normal Chrome. So now I go to login and I just want to test some things out. So what I have done is I have set up, uh, sorry, let me go to forgotten username or password. From here we can search by username. I set up a username Bob, we can search by that and this will generate a password reset email to the email address on file for that account name Bob. Uh, of course, there we go, we click continue. Uh, of course, I encourage you to test this out on your own, uh, any changes that you make. I found it took me several attempts to get my settings just right. So if you go through this video, you do what I say, make sure you give it plenty of tests. You may, might have to go back and tweak some things to make it work just for you. Now for email address, I can put in ucinternet2 at yahoo.com, which is my Yahoo email address, and also the one I have associated with Bob. Either one will work, either username or email address. All I'm doing here is confirming that indeed I have set up the uh, email properly. As a matter of fact, uh, yeah, we have our changes saved, so that looks pretty good. So let's take a look at my Yahoo email and see if our test was successful. I bring it over 
And sure enough, you see we have a couple of password resets that have come into my Yahoo email. So a password reset was requested for your account at Brandon's Moodle. And then it gives us a link, a link that's available for 30 minutes where we can go in and change our password. Here it notices I'm already logged in, so it's laughing at me. But nonetheless, from a user's perspective, if they haven't logged in, uh, that link will give them a place to change a password. So that is a quick look at how to set up outgoing email that Moodle will actually generate from a standard Moodle instance. This is a Moodle 3.10. Uh, I've also had it work on more recent versions of Moodle. This one's fairly up to date, but uh, I've had it work on more recent versions of Moodle. So let's start with this. And in our next video, we're going to take a look at how to create a quiz in Moodle. And in the video after that, we're going to take a look at how to automatically issue badges when course participants either get a passing score on a quiz or finish all of the objectives or a subset of the obje objectives for a course. It gives a nice bit of mental chocolate to make uh, students and learners feel that they've accomplished something. And I found that the students and learners I dealt with really, really enjoyed this. So more to come. We'll see you then. Thank you.